Konnichiwa minasan! Um, I wanted this video to be a follow-up to my video last week where I reveal all the fun, cool things that I've been working on so I can finally launch everything, but um, this move has proven to be quite problematic and it is pushing everything back. So for those of you who don't know, I'm obviously moving, I just said that, um, but it's a real big shit show. Not only did our landlord break our 30 day notice to move out so we had less than two weeks to switch apartments find an apartment and then switch out of it but uh, some other messed up crap happened along the way and before I go on uh, for those of you who want to tell me that that is totally illegal and that I could totally fight this um, I could but I do not have the time or the energy or the mental capacity or the emotional stability to handle something like that I don't want to get a lawyer I don't want to battle her it's just all all messy anyway I would much rather just it's unfortunate but this because this is how people get screwed over I would much rather just fold and let it happen and deal with it by complaining to you guys I guess sorry my husband is an extremely positive beam of light and he spent a lot of his time convincing me that the energy that would be needed to fight her is probably put to better use by, you know, directing all that energy towards my new projects and my channel and all that other stuff. So that is what I'm trying to do. It's very hard to not be insanely mad and to not let the rage take over. But it's true, he's not wrong at all, and I was totally fine and able to handle it until then. But let me put some icing on the fucking cake. The night before I was supposed to go to E3, my old apartment got broken into. Yeah, and obviously I didn't go to E3. Thankfully, all of our valuables and our irreplaceable things are already, or were already in the new apartment. Um, what was left behind was just crap that didn't really matter, or we weren't sure if we were keeping it or not, so it wasn't really about the stuff that was in there, it was about being broken into again. This is the second time my like world has been shattered via break-in. Uh, three years ago my car was broken into and it was exactly while we were moving as well and it was completely stuffed with all of my belongings and it was in our gated, locked, cemented parking garage structure that's underneath our living space like right underneath our complex so i don't know how the hell that happened um it's just okay so that was way worse right like this is much much better i none of my valuables were taken or anything it's just it's a huge invasion of privacy again it feels very icky and it's also kind of traumatizing like really twice in a lifetime i just want to catch a fucking break that's all i want i'm trying so hard to keep it together and it's just it's so hard. Um, we moved from a big two-bedroom, two-bathroom apartment to now a one-bedroom, one-bathroom apartment, and I don't know where all of this crap is gonna go. I have no space to shoot, so, you know, welcome to the mess that is my apartment right now. It's just, it's hard. I can't schedule anything anymore. I'm flying up to Crunchyroll tomorrow. There's VidCon next week, which I'm so excited about, but I, this just sucks. All of that excitement is now just kind of, it, it's now a little bit of an overwhelming added stress, which it shouldn't be. I am really sorry this video is so horribly negative, but this is my real life right now. This is what's happening. And I also wanted to be honest about why last week I was like, everything is great. I can't wait to reveal all the cool things that I've been working on. And then I just haven't this is why. It's a lot more overwhelming and rage-inducing than I thought it was gonna be, and I'm just having a tough time. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys are doing a lot better than I am. In any case, please be kind to each other. You don't know what the other person is going through or has gone through. Hopefully, I will have some great news for you guys soon, but I don't want to promise anything, especially because of everything that happened in the last week, but the one thing uh, I know I said before, like, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about being excited versus, like, overwhelmed about it. I, I am excited about VidCon. I really hope to see a bunch of you guys there. Um, but I am actually going to give more details about what happened with the break-in situation on the Boys Only Club podcast tomorrow. That goes up at 8 a.m. So, yeah, go check that out. And it's also, I think this is, like, one of the best 
podcast conversations we've ever had. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. That really was a nice pick me up and I hope you like it too. So please check it out tomorrow. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Sonja matane.